guys, welcome back to Freedom Homestead. I'm Tangie. I am doing a video that I was not planning on making, but I thought, oh my goodness, this is too good not to share. So I thought I would bring you guys along and I'm gonna show you how to do a very simple, quick uh, chicken pot pie. You can do this uh, with your leftover turkey after Thanksgiving, but I'm actually going to be using my canned chicken. Um, so this recipe was given to me by my cousin uh, when both of our babies were three years old and because uh, I wrote the address or the date on it. So easy chicken pot pie is cubed chicken. Uh, it was like a pound of cubed cooked chicken, one can of cream of chicken soup, two cans of veg all, and the topping you mix one cup of self-rising flour, a half a cup of melted butter, and a cup of milk, and that's it. So I don't have a cream of chicken soup, so I'm just going to make uh, everything in my Dutch oven. I'm gonna make the sauce, I'm gonna, and I don't have any canned veg all, but I do have some frozen vegetables. So I'm just gonna make everything in my Dutch oven, put my topping on it, and then I am going to slide it in the oven, which I already have preheated to 350 degrees. Um, I've already put my butter in my Dutch oven to start melting. And if you wanted to add some shallots or onions, this would be a really good time to add it just to go ahead and get it, uh, get it softening in your butter. To this, I'm going to add a, this is a large uh, cube of chicken bouillon. If you don't, um, which you should use if you don't have any chicken broth. I am clean out of chicken broth right now. So I'm just gonna add this cube of chicken bouillon. And then to this, I'm going to add three tablespoons of flour. And then to this, I'm going to add some milk. To make my sauce, I'm gonna add about two cups. Okay, that's probably a little bit more than uh, two cups, but we're gonna just go ahead and let this thicken. Okay, so while that is thickening, I'm going to go ahead and prepare the crust. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a stick of butter um, in a coffee cup and melt it in the microwave. Okay, so to make our crust, I have one cup of self-rising flour in my mixing bowl. To that, I'm gonna add one cup of milk, and this is half a cup of melted butter. That's it, we're gonna stir it until smooth. So I have made this recipe several, several times over the years. Like I said, my cousin gave me this recipe almost 15 years ago when our babies were little. This was a great recipe to have in my back pocket for busy nights, especially if I had some chicken that was already cooked. It was a great way to use up leftover chicken. My uh, oven has already beeped, letting me know that it is preheated and ready to go. Um, I'm gonna doctor up this filling a little bit more before I start adding more stuff. Um, I have some dried parsley that I'm gonna add just a little bit, mostly for color than for flavor. So that's maybe an eighth of a teaspoon. Okay, so this is really starting to get thick now. Okay, so now it's time to start adding in the rest of our filling. So to this, what I love about this is that you can add whatever you like, leave out what you don't. You can control the uh, amount of vegetables. This is really great if you have some homegrown peas, um, which we've already, I, we've already used up my homegrown peas, so we're just taking help from the store. And I'm not gonna use a whole bunch. Jack is not the biggest fan of having peas in his food, but I love peas. I love the sweet pop that we get from it. So I've got my peas in there. Now I'm gonna add some frozen corn. Again, if you have some home canned, home raised, frozen corn, this is a really great way to use it up. And then to this, I'm gonna add my canned chicken. So there it is, there's the chicken. And I'm actually, this is getting really, really thick, so I'm gonna go ahead and just add juice and all. I hope you can see that. And then I'm just gonna kinda take my spoon and just break this up a little bit. Um, I want 
kind of small chunks, but I don't want it to be like totally falling apart in here. Okay, and then I'm just gonna stir that back into here. And this will thicken up some more while it's in the oven. Okay, all right, that looks fantastic. I'm gonna taste it for seasoning before I pour the batter over top. It's really, really good. It doesn't need any more salt at all, but I am gonna add some black pepper. That looks great. And now I'm going to pour my batter, my crust batter, over top. And I really like this version because you don't have to make a crust. Um, and it's really, really good. It, it almost has kind of like a biscuity crust. It's really, really nice. Okay. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. Okay. I'm just going to kind of spread this out a little bit. Okay, and the cool thing about this is it's kind of like one of those dump cakes as it cooks, the, uh, fill in, the crust rises to the top, the filling stays at the bottom, and it's really, really good. Very comforting, especially on a cold winter day. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in the oven. It's gonna bake for about 30 minutes. We're gonna check on it starting at about the 20 minute mark, and then when we come back, I'll show you what it looks like. All right, friends, I've just pulled this out of the oven. It ended up baking for 30 minutes. And then because the crust was still a little pale, I just went ahead and hit it with the broiler for like a minute um, just to get a little bit of a golden brown on top. So let's dip some out and see how it looks. Oh my goodness, that crust is super scrumptious looking. What you making? Chicken pot pie from our canned chicken. Yeah. Look at that. Ooh, it looks very hot. I come home and the whole house smells good. Ooh, that looks good too. Everybody, I kind of wanted to give you a little close-up of what it looks like, but you can see this is kind of like a, a biscuity um, topping, and it is so, so good. It's very buttery, very soft. It's so good, and that um, filling looks really, really good. All right, so let's give it a taste test. All right, guys, we're going to give this a taste, even though I know it's piping hot. That's what it looks like. But, yeah, this would be a really great way to use up some of your... Uh, garden goodies, things that you've uh, probably canned or frozen throughout the year. And what I love is how quick and easily this came together because I was able to use canned chicken. Didn't have to do the whole boiling and chopping or shredding or whatever. Just popped the top, dumped it in, and it was ready. Mm. Very, very, very good. This is definitely one of those stick to your ribs comforting meals so easy to throw together just a few simple ingredients great for a busy night you got to try this easy chicken pot pie recipe i want to thank my cousin amber for giving me this recipe 15 years ago when our kiddos were little um, i know that i have depended on this recipe many many times it's been a very long time since i've made it but um, we used to eat this a lot when our kids were small. So anyway, give this easy chicken pot pie a try. Also, if you are interested in learning how to can your own chicken, especially uh, is great whenever you find a really great sale. I will throw the link into, uh, I will throw the link to my video where I show you how to do that. It's very, very simple. Um, yeah, so that's all I've got for you guys today. Until next time.